All right, so this is going to be a super quick video just showing how to open up and disassemble the Lenovo G580. Um, there's several models. So this is a G580 um, 2150, all right, or 20150, all right? And then this one is a Lenovo G580 20157, all right? So they are very slightly different. Both batteries, they have this locking mechanism. This unlocks it, and then this one's a spring. You slide that, and then you can pull the battery out. I only have one hand right now because I'm recording by holding the camera, so I'm not going to record that. It's very similar to other laptops with this design. Um, anyways, there's two screws here. Um, use a JIS-1 or PH-1 screwdriver to remove them. Once you do that, you can get like your fingernail or some pry tool in here and then slide this down. Right? Once you do that, you can lift this up, and here you can see. So this is the G580-21... 20157 there's a hard drive in here two screws once you remove that you can slide it back and then you can lift this out all right and then there's four screws on the sides holding that into place highly recommend upgrading that to an ssd um, anyways uh, once you get the hard drive back in you can slide this little piece back in and then put the there were two screws here okay make sure you put the SATA hard drive in the right way so that you have the small connector over here and the larger one there. Here you can see the wireless card, easy to get to. Uh, I believe this is the charge port um, connector. So if you feel the charge port is, uh, is damaged, you can actually plug another one here and then test it outside because taking this whole thing apart is kind of a lot of work. I'm not going to be showing that. If you want to remove the CD drive, optical disk drive, there's one screw and then you can slide this out. Usually I use my fingernail like pulling and it will kind of wiggle the thing out. All right, you can also try and use this to kind of push that out. Um, so yeah, they do have adapters to make this into a two and a half inch SATA hard drive adapter or SSD, whatever you want to put in there. Um, all right, there's the two, um, CMOS battery, BIOS RTC battery. Uh, There's a CR2032, very common. Here you have two sticks of RAM. This is DDR3. Um, if I pull these tabs aside, with one hand's a little tricky, but here you go. You can see the type of RAM in there. This is 4 gigs PC3L 12800S. All right, you should be fine with any PC3L 12800S RAM. Okay. Um, the customer actually upgraded, uh, not this one, but the other one because this one has a motherboard issue. Um, so we bought this other model to basically replace it and they got um, this 8 gig PC3 12800 um, two sticks. So we got 16 gigs. Um, this is the old RAM. It's a two gig stick. Um, but yeah, that worked. Also, you can see the fan design. This fan is clearly visible here. Um, and then let's go ahead and put this back. So we'll just get that line it up and then you can slide that back in sorry i just used my thumb there all right and here's the other one same thing two screws there again you can slide this down and this pops off you can see the new ram in there you can see the cpus here cpu is removable with a flat screwdriver you can twist this and then it pops out but you do need to take all this casing out cd drive you can see same thing one screw you can pull that out all right, hard drive, you can see they put two screws like this, so one here and one here. Um, we put their old SSD from the other computer into this one. They did upgrade at one point. Here you can see the wireless card is down here instead of up here. And again, the fan, see, you can see it's hidden underneath here. So it's not as easy to see as the other one. Um, so this would be a little bit more difficult to clean. Usually you can like blow some air in here and the dust will fly out, but this, it'll hit this and it'll be a lot harder to get those dust particles out. So you do want to try and keep it cleaner um, more frequently to prevent any big dust balls from building up. All right, not really much else to say about that. Um, again, same thing with the RAM, two slots. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out um, on this one. The DC jack or charge port connector you can see is here, hidden under here. So this is a lot less friendly to work on. Um, keyboard, there are screws that hold this keyboard in. You can actually see on the plastic, they li make little um, things there that tell you that's for a keyboard, that's for the keyboard, that's for the keyboard. And then you can actually pry the keyboard out. I'm not going to work on um, taking that out because the customer just needed me to swap over the stuff and get it booting back up so that they can run it again. All right, um, I might need two hands because you kind of have to hold these clips down um, or the tabs down while you slide this up. Um, or you can try and like do it this way, but you can see my hands too slippery. So let me do that. I'll be back.
All right, so I slid it back in and then put the two screws. And let's go ahead and uh, let me show you the other side where the keyboard is. I mean, if you have this laptop, you already know what it looks like. But once you remove all the keyboard screws, usually I can get like a thin, flat tool in there. I'll usually use this and I'll get in there and then you can usually pop it up. Um, usually there's some clips along there that come out and then you can kind of pry it this way and pop it out. If you're not too sure, um, it would be very useful to actually look up like the replacement keyboard and you can actually see what the edge around it looks like to see how it would be holding itself in place. Um, you can also see on the back of the keyboard where the screw mounts are. So yeah, that's usually how I figure these things out a lot of times. If you can't like figure it out from looking at this, you can also check if you were to buy parts and you can see how the part is designed and figure out how to pop things apart. So yeah, these two laptops, they are slightly different. Um, they are same model number minus the um, extra model name stuff there, but they're both G580s, All right? So keep that in mind, just because it's a G580 doesn't mean it's exactly the same. So yeah, not really much else to say. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully you're able to upgrade your computer or repair it. Um, if it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.